Hey, what's going on guys? It's your friend Gear Bear here with another video for you today. Uh, this time I'm doing another video response to my friend uh, LifeSpiller79. Uh, now this morning he did a top 5 most anticipated games of this year, which was really interesting to see what he was looking forward to this year. Um, now, and props to him for only choosing 5 because <laughs> I'm the most indecisive person in the world. That's why you guys really don't see any top 10, top 5 videos from me. Because it would take me days and days of just utter frustration trying to pick and choose which ones I like. And then trying to put them in order would just be a freaking nightmare. Um, so again, props to you, man, for doing that. For me, this is going to be a top 13 games of 2015. Just because that was hard enough to narrow it down. Um, and I'm proud of myself for doing that. So we're going to work with 13. Now, as many of you guys know, last year was a bit of a disappointment as far as games. I mean, there were a few good ones, but there were just so many letdowns and disappointments and frustrations that went along with it. Um, if you guys get a chance, watch Angry Joe's video on that. He does a really good job of talking about it, so um, I'll leave a link to that before, in, the, in the description. I'm sure many of you guys have seen it or heard of it, um, but he does a really good job explaining that. So it's really nice that this coming year has a lot, a lot of promise for some just utterly fantastic games to kind of make up for that and re-inspire a lot of us and, you know, kind of breathe some new steam into the industry because, like I said, it, it was kind of lacking in the last uh, 12 months. All right, guys, so without further ado, we're going to get started here. Um, now, like I said, this is my personal list. There's probably some games on here that I'm omitting that, you know, you guys are going to call blasphemy on. You know, how dare you? How dare you not throw in this game? This is the game of the year. You know, there's there's some game series I've just never played. So, um, if I've never played them, it's hard for me to look forward to it. So, if I offend you guys, I apologize. Let me know, you know, what you guys are, of course, interested in. Um, but this is just my personal list. So, first we're going to go with a game series I am abso just absolutely smitten by, I absolutely love. And that's going to be The Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. When I first saw the very first trailer for it, I was just hooked. I couldn't wait. It just looked absolutely gorgeous. And then when I found out that it's going to be kind of like a Skyrim environment in which, you know, you get to free roam, do side quests. Oh my god, I about had a nerdgasm when I heard that. It just, that has so much potential, so much excitement. I can't wait for it. I would put a video or a picture here, but as you guys know, Nintendo is getting very strict about that kind of thing, so I don't want my video being flagged. So, yes, I hope that game comes out this year. I cannot wait. Next up is going to be The Witcher 3. And fortunately, this game is coming across all the new, you know, platforms. So Xbox One, PS4, uh, and PC. I personally am uh, getting it for the PC. I even pre-ordered the huge Collector's Edition box set. It's just really cool. It's got an awesome statue, all kinds of goodies added with it. I can't wait for it. Um, and it's the Collector's Edition sold out, I think, everywhere for every platform. So... Um, hopefully you guys got a hold of that, but it's just a really epic, awesome RPG series, you know, vast land to, to kind of go around. From from what I understand, I haven't played it, I've just watched a lot of gameplay footage. I heard it's a lot like Skyrim mixed with Game of Thrones and things like that, so I can't wait for this. I, I, I really want to play 1 and 2, um, but knowing me, I probably wouldn't get through them in time, so... Definitely can't wait for that. Next up, oh my god, as soon as I saw the, a picture for it, I got so antsy in my pantsy. Um, that's going to be Star Wars Battlefront. Battlefront 2 was just such an awesome, amazing game. It's so immersive, so vast, just utterly incredible. And I just, I can't wait for this to come out. I hope it's not a letdown. I hope I'm not going to get too amped up about it for nothing. I'm sure they'll do a great job with it. And again, it's coming out, from what I understand, on all platforms, so I'm getting it for the PC. Um, but yeah, it's just it, there's just a lot of potential there for it to be amazing. Next up is another game series I am absolutely smitten by. I have been since I was a little kid on the NES. And that's going to be Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. And again, fortunately, um, Konami's doing a great thing. They're going to do this on all platforms, so PC is included on this one. And I really think that's going to be the best version to play it on. It's just got such a great... It's got the Fox engine. And I've heard that the... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called. The Phantom... Uh, the, the, the promo, the de you know, the demo that came out last year. I'm having a brain fart here. Um, I've heard it was really good, really short, but really good. And that the PC version was just absolutely fantastic graphically wise. So I cannot wait for it to come out. I really hope that they announce some sort of limited edition, collector's edition set, because I would definitely be all over that for sure. Next up is a game series, again, I've been 
just in love with since I was a kid, and this one looks really, really interesting, um, and that's going to be Mortal Kombat X. Now, I've kind of gotten out of fighting games over the years. Um, I don't know what happened. I used to love Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Clay Fighter, all that stuff, and then I kind of got into RPGs and shied away from it. Um, but I really want to get back into it. I've got a nice fighting stick, and this one just looks really great to kind of jump back into. So, again, it is coming out on all platforms, so I will definitely be getting it on the PC. Um, but yeah, it looks really fantastic. This game, oh my god, man. I, <laughs> I've been looking so forward to it. And, uh, the other ones in the, pre you know, the previous installments of it were great. I loved every one of them, even the last one. And that's going to be Batman Arkham Knight. And again, it's coming out on all platforms, so very happy about that. The day that it was announced, I got, I, I got the pre-order in. There's a couple sets you can get. There's one that comes with a Batmobile, and then there's one that comes with a Batman statue. The Batmobile sold out fast. I didn't stand a chance of getting that one, unfortunately. Um, but I did get the one with the Batman statue. So, glad to get it. Unfortunately, the PC version does not come with any kind of statues or collector's editions. So, I might be having to buy it twice, because I had to pre-order on the PS4. I don't have one yet, and I want to play it on PC, so I guess I guess they're getting double the money out of me. I cannot wait, though. It's got a lot of promise. It looks just utterly... It looks awesome. I can't wait. Alright, the next game, I think, if I remember correctly, it's from an independent developer. And it just... It looks so... I can't even put into words how incredible it looks. And that's No Man's Sky. Um, from what I understand of it... It's, it's just, you explore, oh my god, I, I can't put it into words. You explore worlds, you explore space, galaxies. I mean, I, from what I understand, it's just an infinite game of exploration. I mean, you go to a planet, you go explore there, you go to space, you explore the next planet, and so on and so forth, and it just keeps generating new stuff or something like that. Um, I should have probably done a little bit more homework, homework on it. This is just the vague understanding that I have. But that, to me, just sounds utterly incredible. I love those kind of games where you explore and explore. And to do that in space just blows my freaking mind. I cannot wait for that one. Next up, <laughs> another one I'm so amped about. And that is Doom. Um, I don't really know much about it. I don't know if it's a reboot. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, a, a sequel. I really don't know. There's not a whole lot of information about it, I don't think. Um, but I saw the trailer for it. And I saw the big demons, the cyber demon guy, or, you know, whatever they're called. And it just got me so amped up. I absolutely love the Doom series. It's so, it, it's awesome. It's just one of my favorite franchises of all time. So, I hope Degata comes out this year. Um, they're still a little bit shaky on the release date, but I just, I really do. I hope it comes out this year. I am very amped on that one. Uh, next up is another Nintendo brand game, and that's going to be Mario Party 10. The reason I include this in there is because my daughter... She loves the Mario Party series. We play it all the time. You know, it's really fun for a family to play. Sometimes it kind of pits you against each other and you end up hating each other's guts, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and since it's going to be the first installment in the Wii U, it's got a lot of great potential. Look wonderful. You know, a lot of new mini games. It's just, it's, it looks really cool. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, they do have a, a collector's edition that comes with a Mario Amiibo. But again, I, from what I understand, it sold out really quick. I just happen... I just, I just happened to find it the day it came out, so I got lucky to score one. Um, but definitely check around, guys, if you're interested in that. Looks really cool. All right, next up is another franchise I am absolutely smitten by, and that is going to be Resident Evil Revelations 2. Unfortunately, I have not played the first one yet. Um, I have it for the 3DS. I haven't got to play it yet, but I've heard nothing but just great, great things about it. So the fact that this is coming out on you know current-gen consoles, I cannot wait. Um, the screenshots I've seen so far look amazing, so definitely looking forward to that one for sure. Next up, <laughs> if you guys have seen my other video, the video response I did to the Happy Console Gamer, you'll know how I feel about this one, and that is Majora's Mask, the remake for the 3DS. Um, when the, when the Ocarina of Time version came out, it was so incredible, it, it's just, it was so great to play, one of my favorites of all time, you know, with, with updated graphics, updated controls, all that good stuff. And I knew from the get-go they were going to do Majora's Mask. It was just a matter of time when. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And as soon as it was announced, I just, you know, I got all giddy like a little girl. So i um, very happy about it. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to get the standard version, which I'm still glad to do. I can't wait to play this on the go. It's such a great game. I feel like it gets overshadowed by Ocarina of Time by so many people. And it's a shame because it really... I think I almost like Majora's Mask better than Ocarina of Time. 
Um, I think a lot of people just have such huge nostalgia for Ocarina that it, that's kind of overpowers them into feeling that way, and I certainly understand, so. Next up is something I really don't know too much about, to be honest. I've seen it kind of hinted around on various gaming websites, and it's Mario Maker. Um, and from what I understand, you just basically create, you know, Mario levels with characters, with bad guys, with platforms, all that good stuff. And that just, you know, it, it sounds like something that should have come out ages ago. It, it, it sounds like such a simple concept, but it's genius. And it sounds so... I don't know, it sounds so fascinating, it's got so much potential to be just an incredible, incredible game. So, I look forward to kind of reading more about it, um, and finding out more information about that, because it just sounds really interesting. Now, the last game on this list, I don't know if it's even scheduled to come out this year. Um, I really don't know, there's just not much information about it. Um, but that's Silent Hills. Uh, you know, as you guys know, last year, the, uh, the PT demo came out, and it just was creepy as all hell. It's... It got me so amped up for the upcoming Silent Hill game. Um, so yeah, this game is something I've been anticipating for a long time. Again, I love, love, love the Silent Hill franchise. It just, it, it makes me so happy. <laughs> so I hope it comes out this year. I hope there's more information about it. Um, I don't know. Like I said, if you guys know, if you guys have more information than I do, please let me know. Um, but yeah, it, it's just, I, I hope, I really do. I hope it comes out this year. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for Gear Bear's most anticipated 13 games of 2015. This is always subject to change, you know, developers could push these games back, they could change the release dates to next year, there's just a lot of things that could happen, so, you know, it's not, it's not definite, it's not for sure, things could change easily, um, but that's the way things stand right now. Um, regardless, I'm still looking forward to all these games, no matter when they come out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I had guys. Again, if you have any feedback, if you guys want to make a video response, if you want to let me know what your uh, most anticipated games are, please, please do so. I, I'd love to see, you know, what, what kind of things people are into, what they're anticipating. Um, I love hearing back from you guys. Um, so that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.